government, by research organizations. You say the bad guys are getting better than the good guys. The bad guys that seem to still be getting ahead of us. Okay, so then who are the good guys? Like, who's in charge of protecting Americans from data the breaches? Is there a government agency that handles this? Well, that's a great subject. What I often use as an example, if there were enemy aircraft flying over NPR dropping bombs on your studio, uh -huh. you'd expect the U.S. Army Missile Command or the U.S. Air Force to shoot them down. You would think. Yeah, when cyber attackers are basically Crows. doing the Ooh, same baby. Thing, really, your logic you get ready to go. Wow. Wait, why is what that? Is it? What? Why isn't the government on this? Well, several reasons. First day, of course, most of the systems we're talking about are owned and run by private organizations. Whether they be healthcare systems, whether it be energy systems, whether it be your banks, mm, and so on. NBR. Don't be wrong, the government does try to help in many ways, but there's not a lot they can do in advance. Right, right, right. The right. privatization of America. Capitalism is out of control data, like some from private companies. Data breach notices in one week from companies she didn't even know she had relationships with, Ticketmaster and Change Healthcare. What does Ticketmaster did that to me too? Saying that, you know, saying somebody purchased some tickets. I haven't been to a concert in two years. What the fuck are you talking about? Change Healthcare is a great example because the thing you're focused on is largely the issue I call identity theft. So yeah. stealing your social security number, yeah. stealing your password, and that's obviously a yeah. concern. But often these things have disruptions to your life. In the case of Change Healthcare, they're an intermediary between the pharmacies and the insurance companies. So when you go into a pharmacy and have something. your prescription renewed, they type on their computer. I can represent the government, but I'm not really the government. I really don't have a contract with the military either. I mean, I do what I do. Call me a non-contractual player, okay? I like things that way. But this is what I'm saying. You keep that. Y'all data breached me enough. You you hit the wrong kid. You PTSD me out the other way. You know, I didn't call on no spirits, okay? I didn't do the truth or dare thing where I called up some evil spirits. But I called on my heavy hitters, my power play. Anytime that I feel in a mood that I'm getting ready to set this bitch off, I will call on my Kali. I will call on Metatron. I will call on Archangel Michael. I will call on Macheseldick because that's just what I was raising. You might not think it works, you know, but it works for me, okay? And I'm just saying, somehow or another, they listen to me and I will always remember that vision at Carver's Creek. Was it in my dream? Either way, I was sitting in that air chair and those clouds formed in the air and that face was angry as fuck fuck angry at i mean it was like and we had our own language how did val know you keep asking that none of these people on social media are saying this or now you may say it because i had a dream i had a dream bitch this wasn't a dream i mean this was like the real thing if it was a dream i was in between realms because i know exactly where i was and i can i will say this every time put me on a lie detector test put me on, oh there i go tap it again right lecrae put me on a lie detector test and you'll see i'm not making up anything and i'm speaking in total authenticity oh my god those clouds formed and it was just angry and we had our own language we literally, had, I understood everything. It was like a whole conversation. That's why you think I'm just talking to air. I'm talking to Lulu, Bowser Lulu. I'm having real conversations. I am talking to spirit. How y'all go, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. I'm telling Holy Spirit. But yet when you see someone who actually talks to Holy Spirit, you call them crazy. You call the real I don't even want to say the word prophet because I've never really liked that word. But uh, you call people who really talk the spirit crazy. And, the, and you call the fakes. The, the gurus. And I'm like, I don't even understand people. That's why daddy was like, my dad. My dad. My dad. My dad. You know, if that was your dad, you wouldn't be looking so sad. You wouldn't be still there so damn much. You wouldn't be stripping on the pole. I mean, I know you got to make money and everything. You got to do what you do. I really understand that my vision is not your vision. And you are not me. We're not on the same plane. Period. No offense. But there are certain people I cannot hang around at all there's some people i used to rock with i used to rock with everybody i didn't discriminate it wasn't i held myself up over people i just didn't discriminate but now i see how people are so full of jealousy and hating those generational curses it really is the cain and abel thing it's like you know you can be doing better if you're the best one in your crew i guarantee you you got at least you got at least have those people depending on how many in your crew you know you got someone looking at you like 
they do and i mean i just rather just you know be by myself let people do what they do and do that's why you know when it comes in hey we need to collab we need to work there no we don't you do you because if you got something going on and somebody wants to collab with you really sometimes if they're coming at you like that they see you got something going on and they just want you to bring their energy to them they want you to bring your energy to them and they're going to steal from your energy and take from you and they offer nothing to the pot. They'll offer a lot of lies. I can do this, 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 that, that. Why come you can't do it for yourself? I had a couple of people. I used to have a couple of ex-friends that would talk about the stuff that they could do, but you never did it for me. You never, ever once did it for me. And I let it slide 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 until I didn't let it slide anymore. When I saw that vision in the clouds, when that, when the Holy Spirit came to me and said it out loud didn't even have to have a conversation it was like the, the it was like we had a whole entire conversation and it was bottom line i could just drop it in two words get out drop it get out drop all of this get out and i literally like i said i was going to do the church i did the church like thing, but that and no, no like and my thinking was like well is there some people that i can't kind of kind of tell them like can i kind of want no can I kind of let them know why I look? No, just get out. And that's why, you know, they said, this girl's cutoff game is cold. She's ice, 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 baby, ice cold. Like she cut them off like Aquarius would. Well, my midheavens and Aquarius, I am tapping again. My midheavens and Aquarius, you say, I, the Aquariuses are cold, but, uh, you know, well, if you're hot, well, you know, that's possible because I, I know for a fact that at least one Aquarius is a foe. Why? I wasn't a foe to you. What is wrong with you? Because, you know what? You got, that DMT did a, that DMT did a trick on you. And now your jealousy is eating you up. It's a jealousy. You know that's a bitch move, my nigga. That's a bitch move. That shit that tainted at I am tapping again. That shit that tainted bitches do. I can't be around tainted bitches of any hue or gender or whatever. Cause I swear to God, I mean I, I'm like, you know, I'm just I'm just I snap. <laughs> tendency i've done in the past and maybe that's what that was what they were wanting to see and then you have the police come after me but daddy pulled me out mommy pulled me out my crew pulled me out there go them now they're training this week because they know you motherfuckers are in and there go the birds all the birds oh my gosh and i saw the crows like what is going on oh my gosh it's a lot going on the birds are talking today and the clouds are all over the place and I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, oh, there's a little doggy. But I have a lot of monitoring spirits in my house, okay? And has my package arrived yet? I got a package wait. I got that UV lizer that I, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead, flies. You gonna die in a minute. <laughs> you all gonna die. All the little buggies in my house. I'm going to see if this stuff works, and I really hope it does, because, you know, this shit wasn't cheap. But uh, you do what you need to do to bring peace to your house. So since I'm, I, I assume I'm going to be here for a minute, unless, you know, my landlords that we don't even know who they are, but, you know, you building up these fences in the back, which I don't know what that's about. You know what? I could say something, but I'm going to let it slide. And they know why. I am tapping again. They know why. Thank you to uh, my folks across the way because you fly over in the helicopters every day. And I love that because, I mean, I think if you didn't, these people would really kind of like be feeling some kind of way. And then they would really want to play and see that bad side on me. But I think all the, whoever it be around here, they realize, well, she's a little gangster too. So we're going to let her be. You know, I remember when I was living on Bridger Street off of Mert, uh, where I grew up at, and we had like a little crazy, like we didn't know who she was. We we didn't know she was crazy, but it was like, you know, there was a house that we just didn't go to. Like, you don't mess with that woman uh, uh, that was way up, way up, not on Bridger Street. She was actually on Thelba the Tour or whatever that is after you went all the way to the top of Bridger Street and she was over there in that corner. I, why do I think that I actually got some clothes made from her sometime when I was online? I don't know. I don't know if it's a person, I don't know, or was she beside that house? I don't know, but there was a lady that, you know, was kind of like, we didn't know, she was kind of like, woo-woo, and now maybe I'm that lady on this block. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I'm not trying to be the crazy lady on the block, the block of the crazy witch on the block, but I've had some so-called, you know what, don't ever. 
never come to me and think, you know, I do witchcraft. Like, that's supposed to mean something to me. And so, what were you, what, what, what type of response were you expecting to get out of me? Ooh, or, and, or, did you expect me to come to you? Can you do a, can you do a spell? I'm trying to get somebody to love me, bitch. I don't do spells on people. To lo- I'm not about that life. If you don't love me, fine. Go away. If you need a whole bunch of other people, fine. Go away. I'm not the one, the two, or the three. I'm just going to do me because I'm good by myself. I know how to please myself. I just got me some food, too. Man, sister's going to eat. Shout out to Navarre's Kitchen, man. That food is, ah, uh, it's moon and Pisces today. You know damn well I'm eating. I'm a Pisces too, not a moon and Pisces, but I'm a Pisces son. Leave a moon. Oh, we eat. I feel kind of bad because I got to see my doctor next week and I'm going to be packing on the pounds. It's for my regular uh, health check and stuff like that. So before she's sick, no, I'm not sick. It's just a regular health check and stuff like that. But I have packed on a few pounds and it's a brand new doctor too. So I know she's going to. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get to know each other. And I know the first thing she's gonna went through. I went through this with Doctor Sang, so I'm gonna have to go through the same thing with her. Oh, we'll see, you haven't had this shot and this shot and this shot. That you're absolutely right. So when should we schedule it? We will not. Well, you got to. I don't have to do anything. I literally don't have. You work for me. I mean, I'm coming here because I have an appointment, but if I don't want to, I don't have to. That's it. You can't mandate this on me. If you don't want to treat me, then that's fine. I'm going to let it be. But you know what? You still have to, like, you know, give me my high blood pressure medicine because that's my medication. Why are you going to discriminate against me if I say I don't? That doesn't work for me. I have stage four chronic kidney disease. So that might go against me and my health because we are clearly understanding just like how you have all these uh uh at the end of uh, of a lot of these medicine commercials this claim if you have this 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 could cause this or like pre-existing conditions and blah 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 well i have a pre-existing condition is i'm not gonna take i'm not gonna take the fucking shit that's it bitch i have chronic kidney disease and high blood pressure it doesn't work with me it's not a good fit you know what I mean? So uh, hopefully she'll be nice and cool and everything. But, you know, what are you going to do? You're going to run that doctor away to somebody. Why would they? And by the way, for the record, I had an all kind. There goes the planes. They're, they're busy today, but they're in training this week and next week, too. But uh, I had an old uh, contact on there. It's a good thing I went through the paperwork today. You know, you do the whole big questionnaire again, refreshing a questionnaire because of the data breaches. The data breach was you, the data, I got that from my hospital, too. You data breached the hospital, too. What the hell? And then I had two doctors quit. All in one, I don't think they, I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. But I'm just saying these data breaches are everywhere. What is going on? You are literally putting our people, our protectors at risk. What the fuck is wrong with you? Y'all on some, y'all on some shit. Like, you know, like you did all this money in the stream see nobody made any money. That's some shit. Capitalism is out of control. Listen, if you, you have presidents or people who will literally sell the country just for a piece of gold, you think they're about you. They're just about money. They're, they're, they're about money. I don't know who's who. I'm like, you know, for me, I'm keeping my uh, presidential choices to myself. Make it personal. Like your religion should be. It shouldn't be like, that's your problem. Like we all got to be in the same religion and all your religions are flawed. And one way or another, you don't know, you don't know your religions like you think you do. And you clearly don't know the Lord because here I am telling you of an actual experience and you think I'm crazy. Do I look crazy today? And then you have some, well, you know, stuff can change. You know what I mean? If it's on the bad side, it's going to change. If it's on the good side, it's going to change. Bitch, I'm on my upside. I don't give a damn if the days change, the month change, the planets change. I'm on my upside. I'm in my alignment. So if I, if things are going good for me, they're going to keep going good for me. That's the point of the alignment. See, if they're going good for you and you know and you've done the work and did what you're supposed to do, they will keep being good for you. So don't let no muggle-ass motherfucker that ain't got shit going on with them and having their shit fall apart because they lied to you and they got to, like, give you that reason why. But that's okay. You got to, it's like, you know, you keep paying 
somebody to tell you the same lie. So like I said, I mean, did, he, did these people think I was going to give them money to work spells? I don't do that. And if they worked a spell on me, I turned around and reversed that shit and did my own shit. These pine cone sages are a trip. And I got a pine cone tree. I got a loblolly tree right in my yard. So it's something about me and the loblollies if I could just get these birds to stop shitting on my guard. I know birds going to do what birds going to do. But anyway, I didn't have any idea I was going to do this thing today uh to you while you are listening to ooh, hey, oh, 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 i eat that ass and i do that, that, that i'm listening to npr and looking at real things that's going on in the world but you have the nerve there's a lot of mental instability in the world and there's a lot of people in politics and preachers and there's a lot of mental in- they let all these crazy people out and they what did they do with them well you know i've been telling y'all so you green is a thing that's a Charleston Hester movie. I told y'all that around 2012. 2012. And yet people who got on a 2023. You know, this is what, you know, we. I need to, Pisces. I need to tell you this. I need to tell, maybe you are talking to some Pisces. So I'm going to let it be. But if you are remotely, even remotely talk to me, shut down. Bitch, you're not talking to me. You're not representing me in no degree. And I'm telling you, you don't have to, but keep pulling energy off of me. <laughs> Remember, you're going to pull everything, including the negativity, too. You got demons, I got demons, too. And my demons are watching you. Watching me, watching you. Anyway, uh, but that's all I had to say today. I think I said a lot. Wow, that's another therapy talk from the car. But... I realized, wait a minute, we better have bingo going home as well. So <laughs> we put that into the mix. Yeah, it was one of the most satisfying things. It was great fun. And now you see why there's so much love for this man. And that was part of the joy of writing this book. This is- oh, okay. oh, okay. What's going on music-wise? Use around people. Nothing commercial. How we do trees for breakfast. If I rule the world, that was, I mean, that's what I rule the world. How do you know? Because I'm a musicology expert. Things like I was controlling, click rolling, tricking six digits on kicks and still holding trips to Paris. One or two beats, I get it. See, that's why they don't don't put me in a music contest. That's why I wish I could enter shows like that, like Beat Shazam or whatever. But I told you at, at festivals and stuff like that. And I mean, you know, when they realized I could do that, they were like, do not let Val answer it. Do not get her in a music contest. That's why the fact that some of you all would even remote, that shows how ignorant and dumb you are. I'm telling you, you think I'm kidding. And I'm actually warning you. If I tell you I'm good at something, <clears throat> playing by the Queensberry rules. Why do I always say playing by the Queensberry rules? But I do. If I tell you I'm good at something, I am probably great at it. Because unlike most people who oversell themselves, that narcissist who think, I'm a god, I'm a king, I'm great, I'm this, I control everything, I rule everything, I'm the best in the world. I'm not going to tell you that. I mean, I may funk flex about that sometimes, just, just to be, just to say that in the bar. But as far as my life, I won't tell you I'm the best in the world. I will tell you I'm the only me. I will tell you I might be the realest oracle you ever know because I know my visions are real. I know my stories are real. I know I got from the same source that told me to get out of this industry shit is the same. So I have tried to drop. I don't like doing what everybody else does. I just don't. So when everybody started being an oracle and everybody's reading oracle cards, I'm like, I'm getting out. And I've tried to get out. I've tried to get out of that like at least three, four, five, six times. And it keeps coming back around. It's like God, mom and dad says, we gave you, we, we Okay, it, this is not social media or this is not social media club okay this is not you know this is not that it's this is not that this is not the this is not them this is not industry club we gave you that title we gave you that title like we named you faith they didn't name you faith the hebrew israelites had no had no reason to rename me desire of man when i'm the faith of god what are you talking about but see you know what as and some of you think you don't know God unless you have a man in your life. That is such a bald face lie. I mean, that is the biggest bald face lie that I have ever heard in my life. That you have to be, a, you have to have a man to know God. I, I I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. 
I can't talk about it. We're past that now. We're past that now. So, But I had to have temperance. I did have to have temperance because uh, I'm a bit... Uh, I'm like the fifth element. That's a movie y'all understand. Y'all didn't understand. You learn nothing from the fifth element or the Matrix or a lot of movies. I learned from movies not just who I am. And it's not that I'm programmed for movies. They're actually memories for me. They're actually memories. It's actually... Sometimes the AI is working with me because sometimes the AI is not just army intelligence or artificial intelligence. Sometimes it could be alien intelligence. Oh, when I talk about aliens, you know, that's a lie. She must be the Lulu. But Will Smith can talk about, I saw a UFO, you know, over a BC. He's like, oh, you so cool, Will. Oh, coffee. Oh, really? You know what? Well, why didn't you see that shit happening to you? Why didn't your son, you know, who got all these people caught, and your, and your daughter, who got all these people caught up in this NFT and this Bitcoin shit, why didn't they know? Why didn't the guy at Shark Tank know? How did the guy at Shark Tank get his money taken too? But that's a billionaire, so he's got money to spend, but most of you don't. And you literally plagued people who are already in a plaguing situation. It's black people who we expect and we look up to and we expect them to do better. Or at least we don't expect them to like literally like fuck over us. How do you fuck over your fans and feel good about it? Okay, you don't care because you're just about the money. And then you go to rap industry. You don't care. You really don't care about the other people's children or their kids or their lives. You just want the money. And that goes to you social media types too. You're the same way. It's just about the money. You want to be Cardi B. Is Cardi B going to do a house album now? Yeah, Beyonce did house and then say, Beyonce bringing house back. So is that why we say Beyonce's YouTube? Beyonce's bringing house back. That was house music to you. Lil Uzi Vert doing that. That was house to you. You know what? Y'all need to clap the fuck back. That, oh, that's why I had to be pulled out because daddy knows, oh, she's about to whack all these motherfuckers. She is about to spiritually and physically whack the fuck out of her. I'm not saying I'd do it. I'm just not saying I would. I know sometimes I can be mis misunderstood. Was Atlantis a thing? I don't know. But if there was a person that sunk it, it would have been me. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember it though, so I'm just gonna let that story be. But I know what I know. I know what I know. Anyway, that's it. I had no idea I was gonna do that, yo, but somebody needed to hear that. I don't have a problem with anybody. Let the record show that I'm not like just I mean, sometimes I I, I might just a troll because I mean, you know what, narcissists you, you gotta put them in their place. And don't do me. Boys and girls, please listen to me. And you're all boys and girls to I me. Mean, you're all my sons and daughters. Because, you know, I'm ancient. So, uh, but seriously, don't do me. Don't do it because I, my walk is specific. I would never tell you to go up against a narcissist because people have died behind that. People have died. I mean, sometimes they said just, you know, you let it go. You be quiet, you let it go, and you don't give them that energy they'll eventually leave you alone because they need that attention. They need that attention. They need that attention. But the thing about it is you have some people who don't know how to stop and people have died behind this. And so, and when I, when I feel like, okay, you have done this to kids, have you done this to underage people? It's just something I am tapping again. I am, uh, I, I can't just like not, I can't just stand by and, and see something that I know and let that go. So I'm like, okay, then I'll turn into the spiritual popo. So I'm just going to say, uh, you know, you let it go when you have to. Hey, honey, you let it go when you have to. But you, you, if you're on your job, you'll know. And it's not what social media or not even your friends or the populace will tell you. Because I'm not a grimy ass bitch trying to do anything for a whole bunch of numbers it's not the numbers because the masses aren't going to make it the masses are sheeple that is feels like so but for the well i don't have but a few listen to me anyway watch me anyway so you'll get it the masses for the most part really are kind of sheeple they're followers they're followers that's why you will have a massive amount of people are followers but you will only have very few leaders. And everybody who wants to be a leader, that person is hollering, I'll lead, I'll lead, I'll lead, I'll lead. That's the one you don't want to lead. Because a true leader, a, a true leader knows that leading is not easy. A true prophet has never wanted to be a prophet. That's the difference 
between being chosen by God and chosen by your ego and your whatever that is that, you know, makes you, you know, the DMT, the drug or whatever that is, your ego, you know, so I'm the chosen one, I'm the chosen one, you clapping your ass and you the chosen one, chosen for what, chosen to be a slut, okay, you got that girl, you go, don't be, don't be mad at me because a, because a John beat you up, you gonna get more than that, you went down that road, you went down that trap, now you want other people to get trapped with you because you don't want to be by yourself, y'all need to watch that movie, well, what was it, Bloom, Bloomfield something other, but I had the game truth of there, don't do that shit, y'all be playing with shit you don't know, I don't, uh, that's the problem, I know they know, that's why all the movies, like last year they got really really dark and reminding you you know i mean why we got why we got halloween stuff up now can't we like at least get through september halloween is at the end of october why are we doing this now and it's still in july god almighty you really want to turn these kids out genocide by any other name it's still genocide you really try to fry people's mind you try to fry it in everything you try to fry it in churches and the food too, churches, whether it be churches or churches chicken, you try to, you know, put put a little tea in the churches chicken, niggas will, damn, we go, we go get that churches chicken, and we go, you know, it's that stuff, it was that stuff for me, it's like, you don't do math, and you don't hear what people say, but I heard everything, I heard everything, I heard like, you know, on a Monday, you say you ain't got enough, and then on Wednesday, you making sure all the brown and black people get it, okay. But I don't care. Keep your politics to yourself. That's the best way to do this year because people will kill you for your politics. And and it's getting really crazy, really strange, and really perish. Uh, and, and, don't, and again, I'm telling you people, you alphabet people need to stay off my nuts. Because trust me, this girl can fuck you up. Don't let that arrogance get to you. <laughs> I'm warning you what I do because if I say I'm good at something, I'm probably very 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 good at it I almost kind of hate to say that because but I think my rangers already know but I said she doesn't know this stuff but she's she does she does so they'll push me like my teachers like I'm just trying to get through the year in therapy I'm not trying to lead anybody but I guess God had other plans. So I just be what I be. So I just walk and do my thing. And if you get something out of it, good for you. But I'm not going to come in and save you because this year is about my therapy. Seriously, this year is about my therapy and healing me. But if I can show you, yeah, this stuff is real and believe in yourself, but make sure you do the work too because, you know, you don't, you don't just don't get all this stuff for free. You don't get up the media. You don't get, you know, those number one records and up the billboards without losing your sanity and your dignity and your morality. And if, if that's okay, for you you said well, I'll do it for the money until you realize you wish you didn't that's all I can tell you well Val you really didn't go through those doors how bad do you know it is because if God comes down personally and tell you you are not do it's, it wasn't an option for me see that's why I said free will is free will we can do everything we want to maybe some of you came and I couldn't it wasn't an option for me when God, and you know it's God, comes down personally and say, you're getting out of this. Reminding you, my parents told me in the beginning, no. But then they know me. Daughter's got to learn. Daughter's got experience. That's my role. Because trust me, I'm telling you, Jesus' parents, Mary and Joseph didn't want Jesus to do what he did. But, you know, you, you know your role. You know your role. So it just is what it is. But at the same time, I had enough planted in me. I had enough common sense and enough decency and enough morality to realize at a certain point, like, this is not me. Like I said, I, I realized a long time ago that um, the only reason why I started drinking so much was being around the entertainment industry. And these people were making me drunk. So my husband saw that because he was an alcoholic. He saw that. So he started seeing me drink a little bit too much because I was a teetotaler just to hang around these people. When you have to drink all the time just to hang around people, that's a sure sign that that might not be someplace you want to be. You don't want to, I know I'm tapping again so that I'm going in. If you got to drink all the time just to go somewhere and have fun, that might not be the place you want to have fun at. Because I actually see me do me naturally. And I'm just happy in my house. I can play some house music and do my readings in the house. I don't ever have to come out except to hug a tree and play in nature. That's it for me. Trust me, I'm happier than most of the people who call themselves celebrities. You think they're happy on that stage? Apparently they're not. 
And especially with all that acceptance tests, the money's going down. You think the money's not going down for them too? It is. And people are not turning out for concerts like they used to because it's just not that much money. And we're getting ready to possibly come up on a war. Something is going on with this company. This shit is about to crash in a major way. I'm not selling fear today. I'm just selling math. It is what it is. And you can't see it. Some of this news is fake, but some of this news is real. And I know what I know and I see what I see. But hey, you know what? You don't have to listen to me. But what you won't do is troll me and make me feel in fear because I'm actually delivering a real word. Y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> I love and light. I will love and light you straight to the corn pills of hell. Well, well, well. <laughs> Pull all of my DNAs and chakras out of me. And then you, yeah. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I could be. But no. That would be my mother and my father. Anyway, that's just it. What was I talking about today? Oh, here come this house. <laughs> that's a witchy bitch. Uh, <laughs> she did actually end up in the cornfield, but that's another story. another car anyway but that's it that's all i had to say there. i got food oh child you got food let me go eat happy uh happy week honestly i shouldn't have to i need to take like at least two or three days off that's my intention but we'll see what happens whenever i wake up or oh, whatever when the boss says we need you to speak <laughs> holy spirit said <laughs> Spirit channeling. Okay. Y'all people. Y- y'all people are weak. Not my particular collective. But if you're lying about what you do, you're weak too. See, I'm that type of mother. I'm not going to lie and tell you, oh, that was great when it's not. I will be truthful with you and try to help you be better. But I'm not going to pump you up. My parents didn't pump me up. I was good because I was good. I was great because I was great. I got a bunch of awards on my plate. My teachers didn't reward me because I was fake or I brought them an apple every day. I was good at my grades. People thought it was easy. I've got, I've heard that so much. It's so easy. She must be lucky. Bitch, this is not luck. This is strategy. This is talent. This is real stuff. They might have a little luck. Because I can think of some times I'm like, wow. No. It's not luck. It's having your angels around you and being aligned. That's not luck. That's your energy. That's your soul. That's your spirit shining through. That means you are tapped into the divine. I've been tapped in from day one. And I tried to tell you, but you didn't know what you see. And now it's too late. But hey, do what you need to do to set yourself free because I can't. This is my year, okay, for therapy. And until next time, that's Val's Therapy Talk for today. I had no idea I was going to do all this. I just went to get food. (laughs) I'm just here for the food. Have a nice week. Until next time we speak. And I did this without the house music, so I don't need a crutch. I just do what I do. See me now. I am Val Jones. Hashtag the Oracle Parables. Hashtag naturally the O. Peace.